Oh, what's up, Haunters? How are we doing tonight? Once again, we are live. Uh, we got the new camera. We got a new microphone. Um, apparently, I'm lagging pretty badly. Um, there we go. <laughs> turn, turn on the audio that we're going to need to hear. So... Testing one. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. So anyway, what's up, Haunters? How you doing? Today is Home Haunt Wednesday. So we are going to be taking a look at a home haunt. Um, I'm thinking afterwards, I might just... Uh, I'm debating on if I want to stream some Blair Witch because we finally got the computer strong enough to where we'll be able to play it and stream it at the same time. So, I think I might do that afterwards. We'll see. But anyway, um, today we are taking a look at, it's a weird situation. There is no official haunt for this, or there, there is no name for this home haunt. But, this kid has been doing this haunt for a long, long time. And he is, well, I mean, just, it, it's, it's, uh, I'll have to show it to you. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. His name is Tyler Hunt, okay? He is from <laughs> Pixie Dusted is now hosting my stream, and that was incredibly loud. Um, Pixie Dusted, thank you very much for the host. Thank you. Um, but yeah, um, so this kid's name is Tyler Hunt and he's from New Jersey and a little bit of, a little bit of kind of bittersweet, sad news at the end. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at his haunt. Here we go. Come on, self. <laughs> Come 
doing to Kyle next? You'll float down there. Well, float down there. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> special because you're human. You're just raw meat for my demons to use. They're not building a better human. They're building a more powerful demon. <laughs> By the way, there's one thing I noticed. I noticed a little bit of lag between my actual camera and probably the, the audio. Uh, let me know if there's like any kind of lag between my actual audio and my camera video. Is there? Yeah. So I'll have to figure that one out. Anyway. Let's see here. Let's see if I can solve that real quick. Damn it. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, uh, I noticed that I'll sit there and I'll fix it, I'll fix the lag. But then after a minute, it'll just start lagging again. So it's probably something I'm going to have to, you know, constantly take care of. Anyway, so what did you guys think? How did you feel about that? Uh, because I can tell you this much. I am very, very happy with it. Um, hang on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and go through it again, and I'll kind of do a little bit of nitpickiness. Um, yeah. Now, the video itself is, it says it's a... Halloween haunted house and yard display. So the this first half here that you're seeing, uh, probably up until you see you walk in to see Pennywise, is the yard display. Uh, everything after that is considered the haunt. But one thing I want you guys to take notice of is how detailed it is, uh, how detail oriented. Uh, uh, Tyler is with this haunt because his lighting is perfect. His actual displays itself are perfect. Now, something to keep in mind is obviously he's been putting a lot of money into this for, for some time. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from using that as an advantage because it's a very prop heavy haunt it's a very um statics everywhere i think that there's only like one live actor in the whole thing can't argue with that but still i mean it's once again you work with what you've got and apparently what this what this guy has is a lot of money and a lot of time and it shows because it's 
Well, I, I don't want that to sound insulting. I don't mean for it to sound insulting at all because of the fact that... Anyway, one thing that I don't want, um, oh, damn it, I just hit the microphone. One thing that I don't want to do is make it seem like that I am um, saying that you have to spend a lot of money on your haunt to make it good, because I'm not. I'm not trying to say that at all. Hang on. Um... What I am saying, though, is you have to keep in mind this right here, this situation. Uh, hang on one second. Just a second. That's probably what the issue is right there. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's totally what the issue was. All right, sorry. Anyway, so, <laughs> hi, how's it going? Anyway, so one thing that I wanted to make mention of is that um, you could definitely tell that Tyler is a student of the game. He's been studying how to do a haunt the right way because his lighting is almost perfect you got this blue back here to kind of separate this from your foreground and you got lighting coming from underneath because to kind of piggyback off of what we talked about last week lighting from overhead is more natural lighting lighting from underneath is not natural lighting. There's something wrong with that lighting. At least that's what your brain says. There's something wrong with that lighting because there's no reason why that lighting should be coming from the floor. So whenever you see uh, pictures of uh, the, the old universal horror movies and things like that, you'll see that they're always lit from underneath. The reason why is because of that uncomfortable feeling that you get so this werewolf here is being lit from underneath with red which pretty much tells you dangerous situation and the it's it's uncomfortable because of that lighting plus his yellow that you got there good use of point lighting that pretty much tells you this is a werewolf because that lighting there lights up the snout lights up uh, the surrounding areas of the eyes as well as the red lighting showing the claws blah 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 I could go on about that forever anyway uh, but if you notice there is a major difference in the lighting between your foreground which is the werewolf and your background which is that is supposed to be the other side of of the display so instead of making it where this is lit up in red and this is lit up in red and you know the, it, it all muddies together and you get no transition there you get a nice scene to let you know this is different than this not only that, it also helps to fill the silhouette of your current per, uh, of your current static, um, which is a huge thing that you want to, that you really want to take advantage of is that silhouette. Um, if you're if you could take a silhouette of a character, Let's see if I can find this real quick. Uh, hang on. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to, yeah. Um, you uh, see, I'll bring it up if I see it. But yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm just rambling at this point now. <laughs> yes, I'm rambling at this point. Um, okay, so. 
this is not a good example of silhouette that I'm talking about. Um, once again, hey. See, this is the other side of what I was saying. Uh, this is her on the swing. That's that werewolf right there. That pretty much separates these two scenes. So even though you can see them both clear as day, it pretty much lets you know that that's not, this is not part of this. And we are moving forward. I really like this prop. I really like the motion of that prop. I really like the way that it moves. Um, let's see here. Pow! That's good. I really like that. I like that a lot. And we're coming to the tree. And this is what he calls his barn area. Which, I mean, pretty standard. I mean, it's, it's, it's a barn. You get to see it. Yeehaw. <laughs> um, kind of wish the set of the barn had a little bit more care put into it. But once again, you want to do with what you got. Okay. Let's see. Okay, right here. Um, you really can't see it too well with it being a still but if you notice this prop right here this one right here keep an eye on it with the lights going on behind it okay that is a good silhouette that with the glowing eyes the head shoulders you know you pretty much know that that is a person uh, one of the biggest things that you want to take care of while, when you're being an artist or if you're being a haunt designer or something like that is always keep in mind that just because you're seeing a character in the dark doesn't mean that that character doesn't have to be scary. Um, making good use of silhouette is a perfect way to do it. So like say I stand normal, you know. If I'm in a if I'm in a haunt and you're seeing my silhouette of me just standing there normal, I could be a haunt actor. I could be just a guy going through the haunt. You don't know. On the other hand, if I were to stand with a little bit more dynamic, you know, it, you really can't see too well right now. But like, if I was more dynamic in my standing, where you could see arms, you know, head. And then you got the glowing eyes on top of it. That makes a great silhouette. And that pretty much uh, adds the intimidation factor to it. So let's move forward. Wow, you're a bad <laughs> Once again, lighting from underneath. Beautiful. I know a lot of people are probably trying to uh, complain about the fact that, like, they're like, oh, well, he's using red all over the place. Yeah, but he's also breaking it up. He's also breaking up the red with other colors as well. He's got greens, blues, purples, things of that nature. To kind of, you know, so that you're not getting red overkill, you know. All right, so here we go into the actual haunt itself. Now see right here, once again, really good use of silhouette. Um, not a perfect example. Really not a perfect example because you really can't see it. But you know that that's a head. You got the glowing eyes. You got your shoulders going on right there. Uh, I, I still can't find a good example. But you, you get, I mean, as long as you get what I'm saying. You know, that's, that's the important thing. <laughs> Do Nox enter? Uh, 
Okay, so one thing I will say, I wish that this was lit up a little better. Um, I really wish that, I know from pr his previous videos, he's really proud of this prop right here. Um, I really wish that he had lit it a little differently to draw attention to the prop. Um, that may not be what he's trying to do, because as you'll see, this, as you've already seen, the scare is it pops down backwards, you know, so that, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like a surprise, but I still wish that this had been lit just a little differently. Maybe add a little bit of accent lighting to it, maybe a little bit of rim, and uh, so that it doesn't draw too much attention, but at the same time, it does put your scare on display. This one here, I'm really disappointed um, because I know that the prop is amazing. The prop is awesome. You are very hard pressed to find a prop that will that will jump out that far. Um, you really don't see it too well with this one, but yeah, I really wish that it was lit better once again lighting kind of wish that this was lit a little better now yeah there is the strobe during the scare but there's really not much to separate actually i don't think that's the strobe during the scare i think that's a strobe that's in the overall area let's find out okay so it is a strobe in this area but i do kind of wish that it you know do something with that scare um an extra set of strobes that go off from underneath as it's popping up or uh light this area differently than the uh the the than this one you know yeah you got some light you got some yellow you got red but over here one of your best props that you've got and it's barely lit at all which kind of sucks because i want i i i just feel underwhelmed by that by that score <laughs> Love this hallway. Really love this hallway. Oh, by the way, uh, apparently between this episode and the last episode, I got a follow from someone named uh, NM Perspective. And I just wanted to say thank you for the follow, Perspective. Uh, if you're watching now or... Er if you are watching at a later date, uh, just let me know what you would like for me to call you so that, you know, I could do that. My demons to use. Yeah, there's your haunt actor. There's your haunt actor. And right there, you know, it's hard to tell. I like the fact that his jump is subtle. Because, oh crap, that's... There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, his jump is very subtle because you're not sure if he's really there or not. And just that slight little, you know, other times it just seems very anticlimactic. But sometimes it works perfectly. Like, if you are in a room where you are there, and you are plain as day, you are the actor, you are the character who's supposed to be there, and you just, that's kind of disappointing, you know? Whereas this guy, you're just passing by him. 
and he matches the rest of the scenery. He It's very subtle. So that when he makes that jump, it's all the more powerful. Very nice. They're not building a better human. They're building a more powerful demon. Once again, a little overwhelmed on the red. Maybe some um, blue or green back here for the transition to the next area. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And there you go, guys. A um, little bit of sad news on this one. Apparently, well, I mean, it's, it's not really sad. It's more bittersweet than anything else. It's that he has decided that he's not going to do a haunt anymore. He is going to college. Uh, Tyler, uh, oh, what's, ah, crap, I think, it, I think his name's Tyler. I don't think that's right, though. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me check, let me check and see. Um, Hunter? Oh, man, I can't believe it. I'm horrible with people's names. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler Hunt. That's the name. Anyway, um he has decided that since he's going to college, he doesn't want to do a haunt this year because he's got to concentrate on his school. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that at all because that's very responsible of you. But at the same time, I'm sitting there thinking, "Man, you got such a great haunt." such an amazing haunt and i really wish that you could continue doing it i mean technically you could just probably after college so i'm hoping that this is not the end of htj um i'm hoping that it's just a i'm taking a few years off i'll be back this year but Here's the thing that kind of makes me wonder, I don't think he's going to do that, is because he is selling all of his props, all of his stand-ups, and um, I don't know. I don't think he's going to be coming back to it, but maybe it's just something that he enjoyed doing as, as a kid and a teenager, and he just he thinks that he's grown beyond it. I don't know, but it's kind of sad. Yeah, uh, now we're going to watch a daytime walkthrough. It's quick. I promise right, it's quick. Happy Halloween. I got to move quickly here. We're going to look at each of these things. This is the outside of the Halloween 2019 haunted house. Here's Lunging Lily. Yeah. She's cool. She's working oh, with you. Yeah, cool. She's working. Can you set that remote down right there, Mom? Set it down right there. We got Demonica right here. All right, I'll take you guys up through the, um, yeah, she's coming out of there. There's her. Gotta move quick. I know you guys like it actually when I go a little bit quicker. Yeah, Our pumpkins sweet. look very good. Here's this one. That one is my favorite right there. All right, here we are. This is the little doll section right here. We have Rocking Horse Dolly, a uh, Triple Trouble right here from all really different like years. Uh, I don't really care that she's not rocking. We have Broken Spine Girl, oh haven't had her in there for a while. This one, I don't know if she's oh. on. Don't worry about that. But. <laughs> so she is working. I mean, he's got some great props. And the thing is, is that... You can tell that he is absolutely in love. If you go to his channel, which I'll post up a, a link to his to his YouTube channel, you'll see that he loves Spirit Halloween. Loves it. Okay. Knock yourself out. And he's got a lot of props from Spirit Halloween. I can't lie. And I gotta I'm remember to turn the band of anyway. Oh, there she goes. So I love this setup. It's great. Here's Tortured Torso hanging from the tree. You gotta maneuver around him. 
You see the back of her. Then better. She's okay, not swinging, yeah. but she never does. That's fine. That's fine. This is Limb Ripper. Um, looming straw man, our carousel, yeah, or our straw man. carnival display. I got a remote. I have no idea which one goes which. I think this one's him. So he's got a red light on him. Okay. Yeah. I'm move that up see. just a little more. Love that look, 100%. And it is a great look. It's, I mean, you can't see it now, but that is a really great look in contrast to, to the scenery behind it. Yeah. He looks great in there. And it is October 31st. We thought we were going to have to do our display on the day after, but the rain looks like it's going to hold off. There's him. This one. He doesn't have fog hooked up, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not really dogs. a fan of that prop. I'm not a, I'm not, right not really my thing. Him, but the growls going at the same time. Cerberus House hasn't been out for a while. Here's Looming Straw Man. I really love his audio. Now, this is one of the same props that the guy had uh, last week. Um, it was the the Looming uh, Looming Straw Man, and if he. I wish I could show you now, but world of difference between lighting. Um, this one in the last walkthrough that we just that we just watched, very well lit, beautifully done, and very intimidating. The other one just kind of had a red light thrown onto it, and it just looked like he was in a red light. Oh, that's the one where he always goes early. He's working pretty well, better than he was working last year, actually. Like and then here is the. Um, I re I love this. Are you guys be able to see this I hate clowns. I, I hate clowns and haunts. But I love uh, that thing by the door. Lights, like circular uh, colors that go all around on the corner there, so that really brings it to life. But here's our big guy on a step. Okay, so what? Horrible examples of silhouette during the actual nighttime video. Um, but this is probably the best thing that you could see. Uh, what you see here is form, where it's very obviously a very... Imagine this is all in black, okay? Uh, you've got legs, arms, that hands are clawed, big huge head... This thing is obviously a lot bigger than you are, so you should feel intimidated. Um, and then you get close to it, you see it's a clown, and then you kind of, you know, laugh at the fact that somebody put a friggin' clown in their haunt again. But anyway. <laughs> uh, let's get him. It's, oh, it's, I, I, I just love, yeah, but, but yeah. Pose. That's what I was going to go on about. The pose. The pose is the most important part. Because if you notice, this thing is seven foot tall while crouched. You know? How tall do you think that this thing actually would be if it was standing up tall? Um, that just adds a whole new layer to work with. And believe it or not, there are those people that will catch, catch those little small minor details. Got to get the balloons. He looks great though. He's super scary. Of course, he's huge up on the steps. So I love him. There. Amazing. Carousel is going on continuous. Then we have hugs right here. I have the thing that he was had on the inside last year. Um, thing with him though is he broke already, and I, it's not like I had him outside. So I don't that's know a why. shame. Oh, fog's coming out. That that's the bad thing. That's the bad thing about about um, prop driven haunts is you Here always is, uh, have to do maintenance. Him. He works good. So yes. Creepy. All right, and here is the barn display. Right here. It seems you very. I saw this in a recent build video, but I think it looks amazing. So seems very proud of this. 
And I don't knock him for it. He should be proud. Yeah, this, this is great. I mean, it's, it's really great display. That's him. We got Pumpkin Patch Prowler. I just kind of wish that it was, you know, a bit more detail put into it. You know? Rusty with some candy in his bowl, but he's on step. Maybe do more paint job he in the back than just. So, yep, that is the brown wood right there. You know. And then moving on, here is the 2019 Haunted House. You guys saw me build this right there. Am I wrong in thinking that I didn't see this before? This, it, stand up right here. I don't think I remember seeing that before. I'm sorry, it's just a detail. Beginning. <laughs> but, that is the entryway. Yeah. Let me plug everything in. I don't think it's plugged in. All right, entering in. All right, let's go in. Here is all the balloons you have to get through. Bodies of missing kids. Yeah. He's actually supposed to be. Whoops! Not totally ready for you yet. Not ready yet. Here yet, because people are coming in and out. But that's him. Now moving into the. Do not enter. Go in here. Here we are. See. Horses and lights on tour. Bloodthirsty Betty. Yeah, I mean, I really wish that she was lit differently. I wish that right. both of these props so were lit different. This is our second one. Our last one busted off the wall, but we won't talk about that. Now here is her. I keep hitting the microphone. Experimental A. Yeah, I really wish that that last prop was lit better. This one here. All right, so one thing that you notice is that when he was, uh, when, when we were walking through this area in the last video, it was pitch dark in there, aside from the strobing effects of these lights going off. In that sort of situation, you don't, You don't have to worry about the lighting so much because you want that contrast. You want the darkness as to to work against the strobe of of the electricity. Oh, and I forgot to turn on these. There we go. Yeah. I love this look. These are the pages right here. We have Dahlia. We have a live actor going in here. So that's this. Then lastly, we have. Yeah. Now, if you if you're watching watching this video, this prop doesn't look all that great. Like the building of the shoulders and everything, the the head is way too big. Plus, it looks flat. But if you notice in the darkness of the previous video. It looked intimidating because you couldn't really tell. All you saw was shoulders, beady eyes, head, and he was saying something pretty vicious. Um, you didn't feel it, it. Your mind made up that yeah, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Your mind made up the uh, the depth of the figure. Which is why props like this can work so well in the dark, but look like garbage in in the light. We got a skull tunnel with all the creepy cloth, the fire and ice light, which I love. Here is our skeletons hanging. We'll have a live actor skeleton with that mask on right there. We got all our skeletons hanging. Gotta go through these. Got this guy. Don't know if he's finish it off. And yeah. There's the scariest part right there. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for the Halloween 2019 yeah. display. Now yeah, we're, we're pretty much done with the video at that point because I already told you about how he is going to be going to college and decided that he doesn't want to do this anymore, which is a shame 
because it, there is a lot of potential. Most of these came from Spirit Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They absolutely came from Spirit Halloween. If you watch the other videos on his channel, he has a massive heart on for Spirit Halloween. I, honest to God, thought that his parents owned Spirit Halloween. They might. I don't know. But, yeah, they do look good. They look really good as long as you um, light them just right. Like I said, with that uh, Grim Reaper prop, if you light that just right, it in the dark, it won't look like a flat piece of cloth with a steel frame for a skeleton, which is basically what it is. It'll Your mind puts depth to it, and it'll say... Okay, that may be fake, but it looks real in the current moment. That's what that's the kind of effect that you want to go with with your props. Uh, yeah, um, like I was saying, I really hope that after Tyler gets out of college, he picks up haunting again because he's really got an eye for it. He's a student of the game, 100%, and I absolutely love, love what he's doing with uh, the, 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 with, with what he's got. And if you notice, this is not a whole lot of acreage that we're talking about here. It's very minimal space. But, what's up, Alyssa? How you doing, honey? Um, but it's very minimal space. It's their front yard and it's the garage. If you feel like you need to have a whole bunch of space to have a good haunt, you need to run over to HTJ Halloween on YouTube and watch him build his haunt. He doesn't have a whole lot of room, but he's got a lot of heart, a lot of talent, a good eye for the visuals as well as apparently deep pockets but yeah um yeah well there you go guys that is htj halloween uh if you like what you're seeing here then uh why don't you run on over to the merch store run on over there where you can get some uh bone dragon merch you can get some uh, merch for uh, me and Pixie's vlog that we do, Grumbles and Glitter. Um, or if, if you can't do that, then hey, just that's fine. Just give me a follow. Give me a follow. That would be nice. Or just tell your friends about it. But yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And um, here in a little bit, I'm going to be coming back with the Blair Witch. Um, I'm just going to like put the feet on pause real quick and then I'm going to be playing some Blair Witch because I finally get to play it. I finally get to play it. Yes. 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 Have fun haunting. Bye. And I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get better at doing that. Bye, kids!